In this week's edition of Life Changes, I'm talking to Sandra Smith. Sandra, can you start by telling us about where you now live? Your cottage is absolutely beautiful. Thank you. We've been living here for 10 years now, but the cottage didn't look anything like this when we first moved in. As you can see from this photo, it was very small and dark. And that first winter was absolutely freezing. We've done a lot to the house and the garden since then. Have you always lived in the country? Actually, no. I saw this tiny cottage for sale and just fell in love with it. My husband and I left our jobs with good salaries and our warm house in the city and moved down here. We worked incredibly hard that first year. Here's another photo of us after a long day, in our filthy clothes, looking absolutely exhausted. It was definitely worth it. I understand you now have your own business. Can you tell us something about that? Well, when we first came here we decided to grow vegetables, and we sold them to our friends and neighbors. Then, since we had lots of apple trees, we started a small business making apple juice. It was hard at first, but luckily, my parents were able to help. They invested some of their savings into the business, and my husband inherited some money from his grandfather. We've been making apple juice and selling it in farmers markets for five years now and we've slowly built up the business. People won't buy it if you charge too much, so we haven't made a great profit yet, but everyone says it's delicious. And are you able to live on the income you make? As you can probably imagine, we don't earn very much, and we still owe the bank a lot of money, but it's a fantastic life in many ways. We haven't been able to afford expensive vacations, but I'm positive our children have had a very happy childhood here. Deborah, have you ever inherited any money? Yes, I once got a little money from a great uncle, but a friend of mine has just inherited a house. A house? Yes, her grandmother died a few months ago and she left her house to my friend, Carla. She has already sold it and is investing the money to pay her tuition. Lucky her. How long have you been working as a volunteer with WaterAid, Sarah? For about two years now. And what's your role in the organization? Well, I started by helping to organize events to raise money, but since April I've been traveling around the country giving presentations about the charity. I was terrified about speaking in public at the beginning, but it's been a fantastic experience. Sounds like fascinating work. Yes, it is. I love it. Hi Nancy. What are you doing? Oh, hi. I've been waiting for my bus for ages, but it hasn't shown up yet, and I'm freezing. I can't even get a taxi because I don't have enough money, and the ATM is broken. Poor you. Look, my car's parked just over there. I'll give you a ride, and if you want, I can lend you some money too. Thanks so much, Michael. Hi, Emma. Have you found any bargains so far? Actually, yes. I've just bought these amazing boots. I love markets. What about you? Have you spent any money yet? Well, I bought these DVDs, but to be honest, I think they've charged me more than the movies usually cost new in the store. You're too nice. You need to be more aggressive, like me. Mark, what's the most life-changing thing that has happened to you? Um, probably leaving my job and going abroad for a year. When did you do that? I was 25 at the time. And how did it change you? I suppose, um, living in another culture really opened my eyes. I was probably a bit immature before I went, and now I think I'm much more independent and more open to other ideas.
What's the most beautiful city you've ever been to? The most beautiful? That's difficult to answer. I've been to a lot of beautiful places. Let me see. My favorites are probably Prague in Czech Republic and Stockholm in Sweden. Oh, really? Can you tell me about them? Well, both Stockholm and Prague have really interesting architecture. But, for me, Stockholm's architecture is more interesting. I studied architecture there, you see, so I prefer it. Stockholm also has a lot of beautiful modern buildings, many more than in Prague. And Stockholm on a sunny winter's day is probably the most romantic city I've ever been to. I met my boyfriend in Stockholm, so I think it's more romantic than Prague. The nightlife in Stockholm is good, but the nightlife in Prague is better. The music is fantastic and the bars are open very late. The people in Prague are the friendliest I've ever met. They like to have fun and go out. I think the people in Stockholm are a bit less friendly, or maybe just quieter. Today, we're doing a survey about what people think of their town. Hello Andy, what do you think of your town? Well, when I first came here in 1990, it was very safe. But now, I feel anxious. There are just too many frustrated young people in the town. I think it's too dangerous now, especially for older people. Oh, that's not good. Thanks for your call. Next, we have Rachel. Hi Rachel. What do you think of your town? It's a beautiful town with a museum, an old church, and traditional stores. I know culture's important, but for me, it isn't interesting. I think tourists enjoy these things more, so it's interesting for them, but too boring for me. Oh, I see. What about that lovely market I've heard about? The market? Oh, that's for tourists too. It's so boring. Okay. Thank you, Rachel. Now, we have David. What's your town like, David? Well, there are old buildings everywhere. I prefer to live in a big modern city. I'm 18 and this town just isn't modern enough for me, and the people here don't change either. They're as traditional as their parents. Aha, uh -huh, okay. Thanks for calling, David. Hello, Jessica. What do you think of your town? Well, it's pretty small. I think it has a population of about 350, and it's famous for nothing. It's a really quiet place actually. Most people like living somewhere quiet, but this town isn't noisy enough for me. I'd like to live in a town where there's nightlife, or a shopping mall, you know, somewhere noisy to go. I see. Okay Jessica, thank you for your call. And now, it's James. Do you like your town James? No, I'm sorry to say I don't. Oh, why is that? Well, getting to work is a nightmare. On the roads in the morning, the average speed is about 30 miles per hour. It's just too crowded, there aren't enough buses for all the people who are going to work. We have to use our cars, so we all spend more time sitting in traffic than driving. Yes, I understand James. Well, thank you. And that's all we have time for today.